How much influence and power does Weyland Dutani actually have across interstellar space? This is a tricky question to answer because it's in the best interest of Weyland Dutani to obfuscate their true size. The simplest answer is more and more the further you get from Earth. In the core systems, Weyland Dutani is just another megacorp dealing with competitors like LaSalle, Bionational, Siegson, and others. They're a huge company, but hardly unrivaled. In certain parts of the frontier, though, Weyland Dutani has achieved a near monopoly in things like deep space mining, interplanetary shipping and transport, terraforming, and the establishment of extrasolar colonies. Regardless of whether you're an interstellar superpower, or a meager group of frontier settlers, it's just cheaper, faster, and easier to involve Weyland Dutani in at least a part of whatever you're doing. This gives the company enormous leverage. They might not technically own the colonies or outposts they help develop, but when you're providing the terraforming equipment, the habitation complexes, and the trained personnel needed to keep everything running, does it really matter? There are dozens of settlements across the frontier that are technically independent, but that wouldn't last a week if Weyland Dutani stopped delivering supplies.